Oh my god, 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 I cannot wait to show you guys this. This thing is so awesome. You got to get this. Got to. This thing is so awesome. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Yes. What's up, guys? Welcome back. So, I have the most coolest, outstanding thing to show you. This is so awesome. If you have 80 bucks lying around, I highly recommend that you guys get this. I'm going to run a few images real quick, the product images, to give you guys a good idea of what we're dealing with. And there's the product image. So anyway, what we're going to do today is we're going, I got a couple of items in from AliExpress. I'm going to show you guys those items and what they do. And then we're going to talk about the main item. I have the computer set up here with our new flat HP um, IPS screen monitor. It's really nice. Um, but we got that set up just to kind of show you what this data monitoring device does for your computer it's kind of like that thing that you plug into your car like whenever your car has like an error you plug it in your car and it reads out the error it tells you what's wrong with your car this thing basically does the same thing but it's a monitoring tool it just kind of keeps track of stuff which is something that I think everybody needs so make sure to go ahead and drop me that like subscribe if you're new if you've never seen my channel before welcome and let's do this intro because I am too excited. I got to show you guys this. This is awesome. I've been waiting 18 days for this thing to arrive. All right, intro. Our first item is nothing really too fancy. It's just a really cool bracket from this company by ski ski by swiss ski i don't know how to pronounce it by sky y'all know i have trouble pronouncing the name of this company but i love buying their products so anyway this with this loveless nice foam block very nice came this this bracket this is an awesome bracket it holds the d5 pumps it holds the standard pumps, it holds the flat mounted pumps like the one I have in the other computer, but the best part about this bracket is that it can get mounted to anywhere inside of your case, even on the outside of the case. Wherever you need to put a pump in a reservoir, this bracket will do it for you. This bracket was kind of expensive, no lie, it was like 30 bucks for that stupid thing. But, speaking of brackets, we got these brackets in. These are pretty cool. I bought two of these just because of how awesome they were. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get two of these. Check this out, look at these things. All right, you're probably wondering, what is this? I'll tell you what these are. You put your radiator on them, or your fans, or whatever it is that you wanna mount to it. You put your radiator to it, you mount your radiator to it, and then it has these brackets here, so you can either mount it to the side of your computer, you can mount it vertical like this you can mount it like that so like if i was to build a computer that would sit against the wall a bracket like this would definitely come in handy because it holds well fans and radiators so i wanted to show you guys this this is awesome this is actually going to be incorporated into a build that we're going to be doing shortly once we get a couple more projects handled we'll get into this i'll leave the uh, link in the description for you guys on all of this stuff. Oh yay, Minecraft came up. On to the creme de la creme. The place don't resist The reason why you clicked on this video. This. Check it out real quick though. It came with a stand. Isn't that awesome? Like a mini aluminum stand. It came with this. This is to hold up the monitor screen. Alright, which is really nice. Oh, it's made out of aluminum? Wow, not plastic. Wow. Ooh, and it's black. Yes, so it will match. Sweet. Man, check that out. That's pretty cool. Came with the little monitor stand thing. All right, what else we got? We have a high-speed HDMI cable. That's for the device. We'll just set that over there. And then it comes with a braided power cord. This is to power the device, which is nice it's 
very shiny braidedness. Hmm. Cool. And then check this thing. I've already opened it and stuff just to kind of get it, but look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's made out of aluminum, so it has aluminum body on it, right? It has mounting brackets or mounting holes on the back, threaded holes. Wait a minute, let it focus, focus. There it goes. So that way you can mount it to it, right? So it would sit like inside of your computer like this, or you can mount it like that inside. Um, but this thing, I can't believe it's all aluminum. Wow, look at the quality on this, dude. This thing is nice. Oh yes, awesome. Well, let's uh, let's plug it in. Let's let's see it working. Yeah, excellent. Man, the quality on this HDMI cable is really nice. It has those Faraday beads on it. Those are cool, and it's braided. All right, let's uh, let's plug it in. Oh, also check this out. I plugged in the power cord, and. It has this little blue light on it to indicate that it's getting power. That's pretty stellar. Awesome. So I plugged it in here. Let's peel this off. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't fall. Uh, come on. Peel. Peel. Excellent. Okay. So what I figured is that this is actually like a third monitor. So what you'll probably end up needing is software. And some other little things so I need to look at the extraction manual real quick and see what we need to do to get this thing rolling okay so with a quick refresh I did manage to get the screen to duplicate which was nice this thing is really nice if you're curious of what type of screen that is it is an IPS panel and I believe it's um, like 124 by 7 or something like that uh, it's supposed to have full HD and I mean it does the, the quality imaging on that is just it is sharp let's see if the mouse pops up on it oh yeah the mouse does pop up on it check that out ooh I like that okay so what we'll have to do is we will have to get the data monitoring stuff or whatever it is software downloaded onto the screen here but for now, I think I'll just pull up like the task manager or hardware manager, something like that, and put it on here. We'll get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so I have the um, task manager pulled up on the screen. Um, basically, you're seeing the CPU just kind of sit there and idle and run. The cool thing, though, is that you can, this whole thing is meant to be sit. I love how it's all aluminum. It feels like it's military grade or something. Um, you can set it inside of the computer, which is what we'll try to do here in a little bit. Um, or you can set it out on your desk in front of you. And it basically reads out your monitoring. But, like I said, there's some special software for it um, that I was... <laughs> Once again, this did not come with any instructions. Damn it, Freeze Mod! why is it that every time you make an awesome product, you give no instructions on how to use it? I understand that it's a little plug and play. All I had to do for the computer to recognize it was restart the system. Boom, popped it right up. You can go into detect and detect displays if it doesn't come in. Um, but you're basically getting the idea of what it is and what it's supposed to do. It's basically so you can monitor your monitor your computer while it's doing its deal inside of the computer case and it's fixing to boot up here in just a second once it does all right so there it goes came in that way whoops I guess I forgot to uh, switch that to portrait let's uh, let's change that real quick we'll go into our display settings real quick we went in there and we went to portrait flip to uh, flip it around so we got it inside of the system. That looks cool. I like that, man. That looks awesome. It's like having a monitor inside of your computer. Um, let's let's put um, a a monitor monitoring software into it. See what it looks like. Let's see here. I got to get it to fit the screen, right? Will it not auto fit the screen? Let's see. I'm trying to get it to fit. I guess like like that, maybe. What if I hit that? What's that do? That minimizes it. Okay, and then what if I reopen it? 
Will it bring it back into that? Nope, takes it over here to this page. Crap. Okay, so like that. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, let's try. Yeah, let's try hardware monitor because that seemed to fit the screen better. So if you're going to use this, you definitely want to use a monitor software that can go full screen, not one that does like a little window because the little window ones I've noticed are kind of, they don't fit right. So you got to have one where you can compress it into the screen like that. Okay, so memory... Let's go to let's go to the CPU here. Okay, so I guess that's everything it shows. Okay, so essentially you could have that, right? Or it could be a video, or it could be a graphics. Like if you wanted that to be a graphic, um, you know, like a picture or an image or something, that would be kind of cool too. Let's uh, let's go into our pictures real quick and let's let's bring up a picture all right and we let's see here how do i make it let's make it full screen there you go well get rid of that but anyway you, you get the idea um i'm a little tuning i can make that bigger and it'll fill in the screen more but you kind of get the idea um, it could be an image or something, whatever you want in the, I mean, it's, it's, it's whatever you want to do with it. Oh, look, it changed. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. Have like a, I need to blow that up so that way it fits the image. So this is the freeze mod data monitoring, data monitor, freeze mod data monitor, IPS screen. It's a brand new product, just came out this year 2020 it comes in black and white and an aluminum housing it's about 80 bucks it's like 70 dollars plus you know 14 bucks or something like that for shipping um, i found it on aliexpress um, and i really like it i think it's pretty awesome um, but that's just me y'all know me i like i like things that look awesome let's open up another program i'm gonna try to find a program that will fit this um, without having to like chop it up and do stuff to it let's take that off real quick hold on let's remove that okay so okay so let's put this over here and will it fit that way no so i think what i'll do is if i didn't have that vertical graphics card this you could sit it down this way and if I laid it down that way then you could you could fill up the whole screen with whatever it is that you're trying to fill it up with um, that that'd be a good key notice uh, let me see if I could try to do that real quick so for instance like that see I laid it down see if I didn't have the graphics card standing up like that you could absolutely make that work in your case and this would be awesome I mean just look at it I, I'm I'm blown away by this. This is so cool. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel because I buy things like this just to show you guys it. And whew, is it cool? Yes. I don't know if I want this on my desk sitting in front of me or if I want it in the computer. I definitely think I would put it in the computer. In fact, I think I'll put this in the Titan rig. I actually bought it when I found it. I bought it to put in the Titan rig because I thought it would be one more badass accessory to add to it. So with that being said, man, I hope y'all really liked it. Make sure to leave me that like, subscribe, drop a comment, leave a comment. For the love of God, leave a comment. Share me on Facebook. Tell your friends, man. Um, freeze Mod Data Monitor IPS Display 2020, brand new product, full aluminum, um, full HD, very nice, has a 60 hertz refresh rate. Did I mention that? 60 hertz refresh rate even has speakers in it you can watch movies whatever play video games do whatever you want to do on this thing this is awesome it gets my thumb of approval thing is so cool i mean i i can't believe it you can like i can change the colors in my computer and not even <laughs> that's too funny look at it. there's pink there's green turns it green oh man this thing is too awesome y'all gotta get one of these 
on a side note it does look really nice that black aluminum I mean it looks great I just wish it didn't have that product number thing written on the top there if it just said freeze mod on it it would look just awesome as it is uh, also you might want to if you're going to put this in your case you might want to use a different HDMI cord because it has these big like Faraday beads on them or whatever they call these things and you can't get it through like your pass throughs it won't fit so you're kind of limited on how to run this thing into your case but if you went to a different HDMI cord one that didn't have that you would have no problem you could just slide it right through in and through the back um, and it, it's kind of big it is seven inches it's a little heavy and it's because of the aluminum but overall quality is just amazing the the camera doesn't do the justice for this thing I mean the image quality on that thing is superb I mean, it's I <laughs> I hate to say it but it's it's almost it's almost better than my monitor like the image on that is way sharper than the image on that which is just crazy I understand that the camera may not show you all of that but I mean look there's that bridge thing that I built I wonder why that tower is not that there's another tower right there but yeah I built that big bridge and all of this crazy island stuff that I got here it's a little dark but it's it's not um, I could probably adjust that with the image oh look here's my roller coaster cow look see I have a cow that rides my mine cart all over I have a track that goes completely around my island fortress that I built here and uh, the cow he just kind of rides it around all day <laughs> here's something that I don't quite understand it has an HDMI and then it has a micro USB and then another micro USB um, I wonder if they're both for power like maybe you could run it power into two separate ways in case the first one obstructs something you can plug it into the other one or maybe it's for data I don't know maybe you guys can tell me in the comments below what that second port is there for add to it so with that being said man i hope y'all really liked it make sure to leave me that like subscribe drop a comment 